Hey guys, Ivan here, and this video we're gonna start with Ronnie Coleman, his 2021 update. So here is a video of himself doing some shoulders, and this is his look right now. So it seems like he gained some weight recently. It probably didn't go exactly where he planned it to go. He gained some size in the waistline, you can see that. But you can also notice uh, more mass in his arms and shoulders and, and chest. Let's say his upper body looks bigger, it looks more massive than before. The legs, we cannot really see them, but you know, his problems with walking and everything, so I'm sure he can't really bring the, the leg size back, and that's something that every bodybuilder struggles with when they retire. It's really hard to gain any leg mass after you hit a certain age, but other than that, like his upper body, especially his shoulders and arms, and you can see chest as well, probably back too, we cannot see it, but I can guess. And his waistline, his stomach also. I mean, overall, he looks bigger. He looks more massive. And that's probably his goal. He probably wanted. I mean, of course, it is. You can see him now relaxed. His arms, the triceps as well. He did gain some size back, for sure. Whether he should be training or not, is not really the question. Uh, what I admire here is that he is persistent. After everything he has been through, he's still hitting the gym. He still loves it and he will do it no matter what. And I think it's really motivating. So his goal was probably to gain some size and he did that. I don't know if he has any scheduled surgeries in the near future. If he does, then he's probably gonna have to lose some of it again and gain again after. Which is something he has been doing for a while now. He gains some, then he does a surgery, then he loses it and he gains it back. But if he, if he has no surgeries planned uh, in, in his near future, then we will see him grow even more. So we'll see what's gonna happen to Ronnie Coleman in the future, this is him right now, he looks bigger than before, and yeah, he's still training very hard, which is very impressive and very motivating. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Another legend of bodybuilding from the 90s and the early 2000s, Lee Priest, updates us with his physique update, and you can see his arm and shoulder, and you can see his chest and overall the waistline as well, you can see that, that he's in a great shape right now. Way better than Ronnie Coleman, of course. So you can see that his chest is still looking pretty thick and the arms. He was always known for having the best arms and they don't really look much downsized from the, when they were at their best. Of course, he doesn't have the conditioning that he once had and I'm sure his waistline is not a, as tight as it once was, of course. But look at him. Look at him right now. You can see his face. It's a recent photo. He looks amazing. He looks absolutely freaky. He posts another video on his feed, it is a comeback training that he says, of course the video is a, is a joke, he's just fooling around the gym. The description said comeback training and I was definitely tempted to put it in a title or a thumbnail, but it would be too much of a clickbait, of course, it's just a joke and he jokes about a comeback all the time, so, you know, that's a joke. And this is probably some kind of trolling of trainers who are coming up with these crazy workouts all the time. So, yeah, not really a comeback, not really his training. But with his physique, I mean, with his physique update that I can see right here, I can get the idea that he can do well if he decides to compete again. Why not? Why not? I mean, I'm curious to see him in posing trunks in real bodybuilding poses to see if he actually holds on to a lot of muscle or not. He looks big right here. He looks thick. He doesn't look downsized. He doesn't look melted down. He still has good shape, small waist. He looks great for his age, so I'm sure he's not really considering a comeback, but if he would, I'm sure it would be a total failure. He looks great. In this, in this photo right here, wow, this is impressive. I wish I had arms like this, I'm sure most of you guys do as well. So yeah, he kept a lot of the size, especially in the arms, and you can see the chest is also very thick right here. The rest of the physique, I'm not sure, but he doesn't seem small, so if he got into shape, I'm sure he could do well. What do you guys think? As we are approaching the New York Pro 2021, we got an update from one of the top contenders, Nick Walker. We are about 7 weeks out and this is what his hamstrings and glutes are looking like, looking like right now. He is looking shredded, right? I mean, he looks so grainy, so hard at this point. It's 7 freaking weeks out. So imagine what he's gonna look like in those 7 weeks. So I don't know what's the game plan here, is he gonna try to get even leaner than this, or just try to grow into the show, which I think is fairly possible if you're looking like this, 
when you are seven weeks out. So Nick Walker, I mean, this guy is basically a newcomer. And the last time we saw him before he turned pro, everybody was like, how the hell is this guy not a pro? He looks so amazing in the gym. And then he went and he became a pro. And then when it came to a pro debut, everybody was like, he's going to be one of the top spots. And he was. And this is his edition from 2020 Chicago Pro, his pro debut, where he took fourth and was beaten by Justin Rodriguez, who is also doing New York Pro this year. But Nick made a lot of improvements. He definitely did. He looks much better now than he did last year, of course. He trains super hard. He's 100% devoted. He has insane genetics, obviously, for a guy that is like 27, I think, right now. And this is his hamstrings. He updated us with this today. He is getting peeled out of his mind at seven weeks out, and he is looking huge. He's a freaking monster. So, yeah, even though the, the, the previous performance shows that Justin Rodriguez, for example, and Hassan Mostafa maybe have bigger chances of actually beating him and winning this New York Pro because they are more experienced and they have better placements than Nick used to have, but Nick is coming strong. Guys, I mean, he's a newcomer and you don't really know what to expect of him. But I'm sure we all know that we can expect greatness and possibly a New York Pro win. Here is another New York Pro contender who is also one of the top guys who actually might even end up winning a show. And we don't know what to expect of him as well, especially of him, because he never even had a pro review. He never stood next to the other pros. And he looks, in his gym photos, he looks insane. He looks like a... Uh, like a flex wheeler type of physique especially from these side shots his waist looks so small from the side his torso is short his legs are long his legs are really massive he has everything i mean this guy has a, such a huge potential i'm not sure about this year though how well will he do will he actually win the new york pro i don't know i don't really think so but it's gonna be a sight to be seen for sure so this is him at about four to five weeks out of um, indie Pro, that's gonna be his pro, pro debut, no, not New York Pro, he's gonna do Indie Pro first, and I haven't really heard about any top, top guys doing the Indie Pro this year, so he might have a solid chance of actually winning his Pro debut, and then, I mean, New York Pro, that's one of the biggest shows in the world, so if he cracks the top three over there, that's gonna be uh, amazing, right, for, for a first year as a pro, but he did turn pro, I think, two years ago, and last year he wanted to have a pro debut at Arnold Classic Australia, which was, as you know, cancelled. So he has been a pro for a while and he did make a lot of improvements since. Anyway, this is his uh, physique update right now. You can see the conditioning. He also is getting quite grainy. His conditioning was kind of an issue before when he was an amateur. And now working with Chad Nichols, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get it. Uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna be dialed in properly. Right, because Chad doesn't really let his guys show up soft. He is gonna be shredded, no doubt about that. It's just gonna be about who has more muscle, pretty much, because Nick is a huge guy, he has so much muscle. I don't think Blessing has that much muscle, but he has pretty a shape. So it's gonna be kind of a case of Dorian Yates versus Flex Wheeler, in a way. And we all know what happened back then. Is gonna be the same outcome this year? I don't know, we'll see. But right now, Blessing of Oribu looks absolutely amazing. Alright, we have another update of another top contender, the New York Pro. This guy, Justin Luis Rodriguez, was able to beat Nick Walker last year at the Chicago Pro. He was at the Mr. Olympia as well, but only based on points. He did not manage to win a pro show last year, but we'll see, maybe this year it's his year. It's very possible. At this point, at about 7 weeks out, no, he does not look as good as Nick. I don't think so, no. But he has no trouble with conditioning. This guy never had it. He was always super lean. And his back was his biggest strength. This is not even close to his final form. Uh, if you take a look at this, you take a look at Blessing, and you take a look at... Uh, uh, Nick, you would say that this guy is gonna be like 10th place, right? But he is not rushing anywhere. He is gonna be shredded to the bone on that stage, I have no doubt about that. And hopefully a little bit improved. And as far as improvements, I would like to see a little bit bigger, fuller quads. I would also like to see a little bit more mass, a little bit more roundness in the tricep area. And I would also like to see a better looking midsection, but I don't think that's fixable. So, bigger legs, hopefully fuller legs, 
and a little bit bigger triceps. Everything else spot on. From behind, there isn't really much to criticize. Again, same things, a little bit bigger triceps and a little bit bigger legs, fuller, more sweep to the quads. Other than that, like look at the glutes and the hamstrings and that back, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Delts as well, biceps are popping, everything is just spot on. Spot on, it's very good. And he has been competing for a long time, so judges are kind of expecting of him something like this. And if he brings it, He's gonna be a favorite to win it, and if Nick, for example, wants to beat him, he's gonna have to really beat him. If it is close, Justin is gonna win it. It's gonna be kind of a case of a Mr. Olympia versus the runner-up. So if the runner-up is much, much better, he's gonna beat him. If it is close, the champ is gonna win it. And I think it's a similar situation here, because Justin Rodriguez is much more of an established bodybuilder, and the judges know what to expect of him. So if he brings it, if he really brings it, and uh, Nick doesn't absolutely annihilate him, I think Justin is gonna win this show. Unless Hassan Mustafa shows up, actually. He's not really certain about doing it, but if he, if he shows up, I think he has the biggest chance because he's much better than anybody else. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting a lot of content in the future, a lot, like a lot. All the news and everything will be covered right here on this channel. So guys, make sure to subscribe. Thank you in advance for subscribing and also for watching the video and for liking it, hopefully. And that's gonna do it. Thank you so much, guys. All the best and bye-bye.